Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Laff here. I just wanted to do a little vlog Memorial Day. Um, you know, and I want us all to remember what Memorial Day is all about. It's all about the fallen heroes, all the guys that had died, you know, for our freedom. And uh, think about like the Normandy Beach when them guys all stormed Normandy Beach, all them poor guys that had died. Uh, that's what Memorial Day is about, is um, the fallen heroes. And to all the vets and stuff, we appreciate you guys. That's the first thing I want to talk about. And then, you know, I wanted to do a little discussion, a little uh, follow-up. My thoughts on, you know, uh, what's been what's been going around uh, with, you know, with the iConnect and the analog gauges and uh, the testos. And uh, for my young viewers, I get a lot of young viewers that watch me, guys that are going to school. And, um, you know, I get a lot of comments from them guys. And they watch my videos and stuff. And, uh, you know, I think the iConnect, the iManifolds, um, very good technology. I got a lot of respect for Jim Burtman. I think he's a smart man. He did a good job, um, on the system. I think it's, you know, uh, one of the leaders in the industry. It is, as far as I'm concerned, right up there. Um, you know, and it's going to be hard for people to catch that technology. That being said, um, if you don't have the eye manifold the eye connect doesn't mean that you can't do the job with the, with the testos or with the analog gauges there's been guys that have been doing you know hva running hva service for 30 years that use analog gauges you know they do the sub cool super heat the old fashioned way with the pt charts um there's a pt chart built right on the gauge you know on, on the analog gauges guys have been using analog gauges for years um, then there's, there's stuff, all the testos, uh, you know, the, um, you, you're not a good mechanic unless you have the eye, eye connect, eye manifold. That's bullshit. You know, there's nothing wrong with the testos or, um, the field piece gauges. You could do, you could do the job with that. You know, but like I said, I'm not bad mouthing the eye connect. I think it's good technology. Um, guys like Zach, uh, Steven Radin, um, They've been using it for a while. They're pretty good with it. Uh, you know, they get all the reporting, the airflow, um, you know, all that stuff, dry bulb, wet bulb. Um, you know, the probes are a little bit long. Uh, they're not wireless. would have been nice to have wireless probes like the um, the smart tool. Everything's wireless. That would have been nice, you know, instead of those long cords. But I think that the young guys should learn the old-fashioned way. Start off with analog gauges. You know, learn what's happening in the system. Listen to me, young young technicians. Learn what's happening in the system. What is superheat? What is subcool? You have to get a you have to get this in your brain. What's exactly happening in the system at all times? What should be happening? So then when you look at them gauges, you're looking into the system and you're seeing what's happening through the gauges. But you have to know what's happening you know inside the evaporator what, what's happening in the condensing unit um you know what is superheat what is subcool that's all the stuff you have to learn uh you know to get all that that basic information down it's so important you know how does a txv work so when you're looking at their gauges and you're getting all the, these different measurements could it be the txv you have to know how it works in your brain you know what's happening in the evaporator what's happening with low airflow uh, by looking at the gauges any any good technician hook up a set of gauges he could tell just by looking at them gauges what he needs to go what he needs to go um, look at um, you know but as far as uh, you know you can't be a good technician unless you have the eye, eye connect the eye manifold that's an asinine statement very asinine statement or it's going to make you a better a better technician. I don't know about that. It might give you more information. Uh, you know. But that's just my take on it. What do I know? I'm just an old an old guy from up north just just making money. That's all I do is I make money. <laughs> I might get the eye manifold. Yeah, I, if I'm gonna get anything, I'll get the eye connect. You know that eye manifold looks kind of heavy. I, if I get anything, I'd get the eye connect. 
But I wouldn't be using it on every job. I'll tell you that right now. I pull up on a no cooling job, a no cooling car. My testos are going to go on there um, to see what's happening with it. If it's a gas and go or, you know, if it needs a capacitor or something. I'm going to sit there hooking up all that, getting out, getting the um, the iPad out and all that, you know. Go go put the probes in and checking airflow on every job you go on. No. You got 15, 20 jobs to do in a day. You ain't got time to do all that shit. You know? Assholes and elbows. Going from one job to another. Get this job fixed. You got to go, you got another fuck another five calls coming in. You got to go get these people cooling. You know, that's real world. You know? You're in business for yourself. You're out there running calls. You got to get these jobs done. You know? It's all about giving the people cooling. Yeah, it's nice to be able to do a full report and all this stuff and, and show the people that they got the improper airflow and stuff, but you're not going to do that on every job. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. A guy that's running service, that's got his own business running a residential service, you know, uh, set up like mine, and you're getting 15, 20 calls a day, you're going, man. You know, you're going from one fixing it, fixing this, fixing that, fixing boom, 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 right down the line, giving them cooling. Some of them you got to go back on, either they got leaks or whatnot. You can't do it all, and you can't do it all in one day. That's how it is. Don't fall for all the hype that you know, unless unless you fall into this category, unless you have the eye connect, unless you wear a team testo hat, you you are not a true HVAC. Um, New age technician. Embrace the technology. What's the matter with the testos and the field pieces and all that? There's nothing wrong with that stuff. Learn the old-fashioned way, guys. You gotta know both. You know? Learn the old-fashioned way. Nothing wrong with that. Guys have been doing it for, for years and years and years. You mean to tell me a guy that's been doing, uh, you know, HVAC for 35 years and running analog gauges that he doesn't know what he's doing? Really? Well, you're a better mechanic than him because you you've been you've been uh, you know changing filters and cleaning condensing units for two years. A PM guy. You're out changing filters and doing coil cleanings on outside units for two years, and all of a sudden now you got the I manifold and you're a fucking super tech. Come on, guy's been doing this shit for thirty years with analog gauges, crawling around in attics for thirty years. Who's a better technician? I'll tell you one thing. The guy that was doing the 30 years, the fat old guy, will outwork you. Uh, he don't need three guys to do an install. That old guy will do it and install himself in one day and get it done. I guarantee that. Sometimes it's about, you know, um, you're in business. You need to be, you need to have parameters, you know. Certain things you do, certain things you don't do. But you need to be making money. You need to get the job. This is the bottom line. You need to get the job done, okay, in a timely manner, good workmanship, and keep the customer happy and make money. There you go. Boom. This guy's smart. <laughs> it's true, though. You know, that's the bottom line. You go there, you get the people cooling. The system might have low airflow because they got the improper duct system in there. It's been running like that for 50 years or 40 years or how long it's been in there. You think they're going to upgrade their, uh, their returns and stuff because you tell me they've got a not enough airflow and they got low suction pressure? It's been working like that for 30 years. They don't give a shit. They want their cooling fixed, okay? No filters, you know, clean the evaporator, clean the condensing unit. Get it going the best you can. And you go to your next job. Okay? Give me a check. Give me my money. You know? Then you cash a check at the end of the day. That's, that's what... That's real world situations. You know? Real world situations. Not everything's going to be pretty. Not everything's, not everything's pretty out there, guys. It's not. Things are nasty. When you guys get out there running service, you're going to see what I mean. You know? Systems have been running nasty like that for years. Years. Still running. Can't stop a Goodman. Can't stop a Goodman. (laughs) 
<laughs> but anyway, hopefully I didn't babble too long, but that's the, that's the truth, guys. The young guys that are out there, you know, trying to get started and stuff. Um, learn, learn the old-fashioned way. Nothing wrong with Testos. Nothing wrong with the I manifold either, but you know it's not for everybody. You gotta have parameters. You gotta know, you know, what's going on, and uh, get yourself a PT chart. You know, learn the basics is what I'm saying. Learn the basics. Learn how to do static. Uh, you know, learn learn all the stuff the old-fashioned way. You should be able to do it both. All right, guys. Like I said, hopefully I didn't babble too long. Hopefully I didn't lose any subscribers. <laughs> Stay subscribed. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good day and uh, happy uh, Memorial Day.